guys, I'm Vicky and welcome back. Today I am at the Toy Fair in London. As you can see behind me, there are literally thousands of toys. It is just absolute heaven for kids. So what I'm doing here today is I'm gonna have a good look around. I'm gonna pick out some of my absolute top picks for the year, the best toys, the things that are gonna make amazing presents for birthdays and for Christmas, because you know, it's just around the corner. <laughs> Um, the best picks, the things that are looking like really exciting, things that are looking really cute, things that will be like in trendy, um, the trends, I think Frozen 2 might still be quite big, um, things that are coming back, I've just seen some pound puppies which blast from the past, I'll be showing you those in a bit. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get stuck in, I'm gonna show you some toys, I'm gonna play with some toys, and I'll be doing some top picks from the show. Hopefully you'll get some inspiration here for some gifts for your kids, and I hope you enjoy. So my picks are very much focused on what is appropriate for kids from around the age of one upwards to around about seven. So very much early years, just because, you know, that's based on my own experience. I have two very young children, so I've focused on the things that I know for a fact they would love. So my first pick, oh my gosh, look at this little kitchen. So it's from Le Toy Van. It is going to be out in the spring, brand new from them. I just love the dark blue against the copper. So very, very fashionable, obviously. You're seeing that in a lot of people's homes at the moment, that kind of color combination. And now you can um, get a toy kitchen to match. Um, it is one of the pricier wooden toy kitchens. This is gonna be over around the 150 pound mark. However, I think the detail on it is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful kitchen. Also new from Le Toy Van um, coming this year is this lovely little sweetie set. So you've got drumsticks, lollipops, you know, all sort of the swizzle sweets classics that you find. So lots of very familiar sweeties there. I think this is really cute. Everything you need to set up a little sweet stall and serve out sweets in little bags. Oh, I just love the detail on the um, illustrations. This is all wooden, all these little boxes that I'm picking up there. And some other things I spotted on the Le Toy Van stand, which I love, these two little kitchens, which I think are already out now, and the little macaron and cupcake sets. I just thought they were really sweet. I just love the colors of those. Really pretty, and the lollies too. So moving on to things for babies and sort of very young toddlers. I really liked these little vegetables. I thought they were absolutely adorable. I, I just think they're so sweet with the eyes on as well. And you can just see this wooden block cart as well in the corner. I thought that was lovely. This pull along cart is coming out in the spring, I believe. So this is a brand new one, again from Le Toy Van. So I just thought this was really lovely for a child who's just learning to walk. It gives them something maybe to lean on as they're toddling about and it's very cute, also makes good storage. So I absolutely love this train set from Le Toy Van. Um, I feel like it seems to use a lot more wood than what some of the other wooden train sets maybe do. So obviously the plastic is, is there, there's plastic on the wheels, but otherwise there is very, very little plastic anywhere in this train set. I just think it's a lovely set and there's so much detail on all of the buildings that your child can sort of dot around. They can really create a little village. So we have got an absolute mountain of Orchard Toys um, jigsaw puzzles and games in our house. My kids just adore the Orchard Toys range of things. However, until I visited their stand at the Toy Fair, I had no idea how many products they actually have. They have so many, it's insane. But they've got some new ones coming out and they've got some that are really focusing on times tables, which I thought was absolutely fantastic, making learning times tables fun. So as someone who has a girl who's very nearly five and is going to need to be really focused on the times tables over the next couple of years, I thought it was really, really great to have a couple of board games that are very much focused on that. So I love the fact that as with all the Orchard toys, you've got very bright colours, you've got cool characters on there, it's very engaging, it's making it, it's learning, it's informative, but above all things, it's fun and it's something that you can do together as a family doesn't have to be just one of you, two of you, all four of you can play it. I really loved this one, this first times tables one. So what you do is you spin the wheel and it lands on a fruit for your pancakes and then you pick your pancake and it's got a sum on it. So this says four times five. And the idea is that your child sort of flips it the number of times um, that they think they need to to get the answer and 
There you go, 20, the answer is on the back. I just think that that's a really sweet, that's a really fun little game. You know, my kids love pancakes, so I know they'd love that game. I also really liked this woolly mammoth game. So again, you've got sums on cards, but in order to reveal the answer, you have to use this sort of flamey tool. Now, I don't know if you can really, it's really coming through on the camera, but you hold that sort of red thing over part of the card and it reveals the number. So you get the answer for the sum by doing that. Then you've got woolly mammoths and you put hoops on there, trunks. Just really, really fun. A really fab board game, but with learning at the centre of it. This jigsaw puzzle is amazing. It's 50 pieces, the Unicorn Friends jigsaw puzzle. It's for age four plus. I'm definitely getting this for my daughter, my eldest daughter. She would absolutely love it. I really appreciate the jigsaws now that have got more pieces. It just, my daughter just goes through them so quickly. Right, moving on to the Loopy Llamas game. So the premise of this is a llama pool party because we all know how much llamas love pool parties. So the idea is that you match patterns. So this game is very much about patterns. So your child's llamas move around the board. They land on a pattern circle. You have to pick up that pattern hoop and then you hook it around your llama's neck, hopefully without knocking it over like I did. Um, I just think it's really fun. Llamas are so, so trendy at the moment. I saw them everywhere at the toy fair. Another favorite of mine was this Rainbow Unicorns game. So the it's very simple, younger children can play it. So you get pairs, you have to match your pairs together by turning the cards over. And as you match your unicorns together, you move around the rainbow. Um, I just thought it was really nice. Your child needs to put the rainbow together to start play. So there's a bit of sort of um, jigsaw making involved as well. And I just really, really love the unicorns in the rainbow. It's just such a pretty, pretty game. Right, moving on to the micro scooters range. Um, we have got two mini micro scooters and I just love them. I don't believe this that I'm showing here is brand new, but I did really like the fact that it can be used from a very young age as a something that your child sits on and you push them along. And then they start to push themselves along with their feet while still sitting down and then it becomes a micro scooter, a mini micro scooter. So I just loved that. I thought that was a really great idea. We are nearly at the stage now where my daughter needs to move up to the maxi scooter range. Um, she's kind of growing out of the mini one. I love the fact that the maxi scooters can be folded in half. I just think it makes it easier to travel with them. As you can see these ones here, these are folded in half. So I just think that makes it easier to stash them away in the car. What I'll probably do is order her a deluxe one because I like the fact that the light, the wheels light up. That's not really showing very well on this video, but when the wheels move around, they light up. Some really pretty colors here, really pretty. So brand new from the Micro Scooters people is this lovely unicorn helmet. I thought the, the streamers at the back for the tail were just absolutely lovely. And it comes with a range of accessories. So you can get a unicorn head that goes on the front of the scooter that just slots onto the handlebars there. So your child feels like they're riding along on their unicorn. Um, I'm gonna find this very, very hard to resist to be honest with you. Um, it comes with a range of safety accessories as well. So as well as the helmet, you can get knee pads. Some nice knee pads there. These fingerless gloves are gorgeous. I just love that material that's been used there. And you can also get this windmill. So various things that you can add just to accessorize the scooter. And also new is this monster helmet, which features googly monster eyes on the top, which I thought was just a really fun touch. So these little figures here come in little sets and you can decorate them with stickers, with colouring pens, just however you want them really. I thought that they would make absolutely fantastic stocking fillers. They are made by Canal Toys and they're called the Style Forever range. That's a really lovely good value toy. I really adore these little So Magic trees. So you can get them in a variety of sizes. Your child gets the tree, gets it all set up, they create a little world with sand and little figures all around it. And then over the next couple of days, they watch the tree blossom. So clever, so pretty. You can get a huge one or you can get tiny little sets. It comes in a really nice range of different shapes and sizes. This is the bigger one here. 
but I think that's a really lovely toy. Now we've got some kinetic sand. Who doesn't love kinetic sand? What's lovely about these kinetic sand kits is that you can actually make it yourself. So you can get it ready made or you can get sets where you make it yourself. It comes with all sorts of slicers and cutters so that you can cut it, shape it into all sorts of different shapes. Again, this is by Canal Toys the kinetic sand range I think it's really fantastic there's a real like sort of wide scope for creativity with these toys so canal toys also has a range of slime products so starting here I really loved this washing machine one I thought this was really really cool your child gets some slime mixture mixes it up using the washing machine which they can turn on and it spins around um, it's a tie-dye kit so they can make it all different colors mix it together and then play with it another thing here there is a scent station so they can make their own scented slime use different colors use different smells make their own unique scented slime I just think it's a really nice creative different kits where your child gets to make slime but they're doing it um, kind of in a way where they can pretend they're making a perfume or pretend they're trying to make their own lipstick so it's really cool imaginative play as well as sensory play They've also got some scented slimes here as well. So they've got like popcorn scented slime, chocolate milk scented slime, all sorts of different ones. Obviously you can't actually eat it, but it just smells like the real thing. Um, it's really quite clever and they're priced really, really good value as well. So the smaller kits make great stocking fillers. Moving on to the play foam zone, I just loved this stuff. So the play foam comes in all sorts of different varieties, but what I really loved was the fact that inside these particular play foam balls down here and little rainbows down here, you get a little creature inside, you get a little pal. So like this little fella here, this little unicorn. So I thought that was quite fun. Your child gets the foam, but they also get a little friend to play with as well. There are so many things in the play foam range what i really loved about it oh this is play foam pluffle by the way so this is new stuff it feels amazing you sort of smudge it together with your hands i think the difference between the pluffle and the original play foam is the uh, the original play foam is loads of little balls whereas this is kind of just sort of weird flaky stuff I'm finding it very difficult to explain to you but what I can tell you is it feels amazing it never dries out it comes in beautiful colors and what I really loved about it was that compared to play-doh you know when your child blends colors of play-doh together and it just ends up brown these don't blend together in that way yes they mix together but they don't all blend together so what that means is you don't end up with like just a brown mess like the colors are still very clear which is lovely because the range of colors on this are just beautiful there are so many gorgeous colors here I really loved the rainbow the rainbow ones so the play foam comes in all sorts of different types of sets games kits for inspiration honestly just endless endless inspiration with the play foam you can mold it together to create little sort of pictures little play environments all sorts of different things for toys so i really really loved this learning resources make some absolutely fantastic toys for learning but i mean it's learning but your child won't know that they're learning which is the very best way for them to learn so learning through play basically so I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite learning resources thing. I loved this fish, which is for 18 months plus. Your child bait just, just pops these into the slots and it just helps with fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination. I really, really loved that. There's various little tool sets and games and toys that just really help with that really vital sort of hand movement, helping with the pincer movement that your child needs to learn with their fingers. So the people at Learning Resources also make some fantastic coding toys. I loved the look of this Botley coding robot. So your child can give it instructions for what to do, what directions to move in, give it a sequence of things to do. I just thought this looked really, really interesting for older kids. Staying on the subject of STEM toys, so that's science, technology, etc. Um, I really liked this building thing. Look at that, a DNA strand. I thought that was something a bit different. So for outdoorsy types, you can get this gorgeous telescope. Just look at it. I love it. 
I thought that was such a nice idea for children. Um, they also do binoculars, so very much good for going out, exploring nature, getting your child excited about exploring nature. Right, everyone, I'm moving on to soft toys now. Yay! A big trend for the soft toys was llamas, rainbows, dragons. So mythical creatures along with, you know, your actual real creatures. But there was a lot of rainbows, bright colours. Um, there were just some absolutely beautiful soft toys there. Honestly, I wish I could have shown you more. There were so many. I... I think soft toys they are my eldest daughter's favorite toy of all she fills her bed with toys every single night she cannot get enough of them um but there were some really gorgeous unicorns i love this one this one was so soft and beautiful the llamas were just incredible that rainbow llama at the beginning i think that was my absolute favorite again as i was saying so dragons very big bright colors pastels very very trendy so Frozen 2 have got this enormous range of bikes, scooters, all sorts. But what really caught my eye were these rollerblades because my eldest is getting to the stage now where she's getting interested in skate skating. Um, I think she could probably handle some rollerblades now. She's probably old enough. So I just thought these rollerblades looked really, really fantastic. So of all the Frozen 2 things I saw, and I saw a lot of Frozen 2 things, I think the rollerblades were the thing that sort of really, really stood out for me. I love that, that pale blue, that frozen blue. Again, more frozen toy stuff. I mean, if you can think of a toy, there is a frozen two version of that toy. I guess the DVD will be out this year. So toy sales will still very much be, you know, going. There'll be a lot of frozen two themed things. There was all sorts. There was slime there was putty there was making sets pretty much anything that you can imagine so if you're going to be getting your child the frozen 2 dvd or downloading it for them then there is an absolute ton of stuff to choose from when it comes to frozen 2 toys this next toy was one of my absolute favorites it's not available to buy yet but if you have a little amateur seamstress in the making, it's perfect. So your child uses these mannequins and the squares of material provided in the pack and they put together an outfit using pins that pin it to the mannequin. I just love it. It's such a creative idea. Beautiful. These, again, these aren't out yet. The Nuzzy Loves. So they are tiny, your child can hold them in their hands, they're not too big, but they are interactive, they respond to sound, so if you click your fingers at them, they respond to that, they respond to having their head stroked, they make noises, I just thought they were absolutely adorable, um, I'm definitely, definitely getting these for my kids. I like the fact that with a lot of these noisy interactive toys, they're often quite big, this is nice and small, like pocket size, your child can easily take them with them anywhere. Um, I just know that my girls would absolutely love this. So keep an eye out for those. If you're looking for a big wow factor present, check out this unicorn, this ride on unicorn. How amazing is that? So this was on the basic fun stand, basic fun. I don't think it's out yet, but wow, look at that. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> love it. Um, again, another one that I don't believe has come to market yet, a Hungry Caterpillar Tunnel. We've got one of these collapsible tunnels at home, it's just a very plain one. It is so popular, the kids absolutely adore it. I think it's great for a baby who's learning to crawl or for a toddler. So while there are a lot of brand new toys that were amazing, Retro was very big at the toy fair. Look at the Care Bears! Oh, I remember I had a few Care Bears myself when I was little. Um, I think this range of stuffed toys is just so beautiful. I just love the bright rainbow colours of the Care Bears. 
Um, there's a range of sizes that you can get. There was all sorts of different Care Bear toys, but for me personally, it was all about the stuffed toys. I thought they were adorable. <gasps> Pound puppies, guys, in exactly the same packaging as you got them in when you were a child in the 80s. How lovely are these? I personally had one that one of those ones that was like pregnant and you open the pouch and there's babies in there. I just love these. I think they are amazing. Absolutely amazing. My Little Pony, so another throwback toy. As you can see, there's so many different ones tied into the TV show. There's been a like brand new uh, TV show recently. Now, this is something that really took me by surprise. A My Little Pony and Stranger Things collaboration. Yes, you heard me right. Stranger Things, the Netflix show. So as you can see, this pony is upside down. And so this pony was made as part of the sort of promotion for Stranger Things series three. Series three um, made me laugh anyway. I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> Um, so yeah, moving on from Stranger Things and My Little Pony, there's all sorts of different colours, all sorts of different little accessories that you can get. I personally used to absolutely adore the My Little Pony range. It was just one of those things that, you know, you're obsessed with horses when you're a child. A lot of kids are. You're obsessed with like brushing and doing something's hair. So it kind of ticks a lot of boxes for kids' toys. Um, it had this set as well. I quite like the look of this set, this sort of pretty pony salon type area. Moving on from the ponies, we have got Fifi the Flossing Sloth. Wow. So this sloth has apparently three different songs and allegedly it does the floss. I got it to do the floss once and then it refused to do it all the other times that I was pushing its nose. So it went on strike, but you push its nose and it's meant to do the sloth. I thought it was quite fun. That's from um, Zuru, that toy. And I just want to mention as well this bicycle. I just thought it was really cool. It's a tie-in with Trolls 2, the movie. I love the furry seat, the furry handlebars. Just thought that was really, really fun. The colours are cool. And yeah, it just really stands out, doesn't it? It's something a bit different. This range of Gruffalo toys just really, really caught my eye. I particularly like the puzzles, which come in these little tins. So they're 72 pieces. I thought they looked really great. Obviously, also on this desk is just a wide array of Julia Donaldson book merchandise. You've got Zog there as well, Zog puzzles, toys. There's Snail and the Whale there as well. I just thought the tins were like quite a nice storage idea because I don't know about you, but I find the cardboard boxes get crushed and then they never work again. <laughs> Very annoying. So you've got a Gruffalo bucket with various gardening tools there as well, which I thought was fab. And for the summer, I thought these could be quite fun. So various different inflatables. These were from a company by Best Away. And you've got a pizza slice and you've got, I thought these were quite cool. These kind of really zany inflatables like you've got a kind of jazzy llama and some other creatures as well but they just look really really fun for the swimming pool this summer hey guys so it's been like a really exhausting day actually i feel like i've walked for miles and miles i've seen so many toys um definitely a real trend for like really bright and colorful unicorns dragons like mythical creatures but like really cute fluffy in really bright colors um, i've seen some really lovely stem toys as well that like encourage and nurture your child's interest in maths and science and stuff so like a real real mixture of things and i think it's going to be a really exciting year for toys i think there's some things that are really different and some things that put a bit of a spin on the popular kind of toys frozen 2 still massive <laughs> Um, cartoons still having an absolutely massive influence on the types of things that are being made but yeah I hope that you've enjoyed my topics from the toy fair and that it's given you a little bit of inspiration for what to buy your kids this year